year when he fought Sam Albee. This guy dealt with an injury, tore his lat against Alessio Bikirico in July of 2018. He was such a bright prospect, DC, on the rise, and he had to be out for nearly three full years. He knows a lot of fighters don't come back from what he came back from, but in 2021, a performance of the night and a fight of the night, and it's just what we expect when this guy gets in the octagon is a fun, fun scrap. Absolutely. He's a fun guy, right? I remember a post-fight interview when he asked Miley Cyrus for a number or something, and it went viral. But the kid can absolutely fight. And since he has gotten to that man, James Charles, he said he's opened his eyes to becoming a student of the game, to film watch, to study his opponent, to make it sure that he's prepared for every single thing he can see on inside of the octagon, and feels like he's going to be better for that. He's been away for a while, but he's been away because he felt like his body was turning on him, like he just could not get healthy, he was training constantly, and now he feels ready to go. I mean, with Marquez, one of the things he specified is that I got to be faster, train with faster guys, move my feet. This is a guy that just moves and moves. He pulls you into the big strikes. This guy right here, I'm saying, he throws as many kicks as he can, and you this is a guy you got to keep your lookout for. I said film study, Cruzo film study. Clap on lock. <laughs> it's in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's a grappler sitting six feet, three inches tall. Weighing at officially 185 and one half pounds in 15 fights. His record stands at 11 victories with four defeats. Fighting out of Deerfield Beach, Florida by way of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Here is Gregory Robocop Rodriguez. And across the octagon, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This mixed martial artist is six feet two inches tall. He too weighed officially 185 and one half pounds and in 11 fights. Holds a record of nine victories and two defeats. Fighting out of Kansas City, Missouri. Here's the Cuban Missile Crisis, Julian Marquez. And your referee in charge is Mike Bertra. Great scrap at middleweight coming your way. Ariani helping to get it started. All right, gentlemen. Hello, First Brittany round. and Brooklyn as well. You ready to fight? Hell, let's go. Julian Marquez is your underdog in the red. Gregory Rodriguez is in the white. This fight clock is brought to you by the United States Marine Corps. Another thing Marquez said is I got to hit a lot of angles. He fights and he, he throws his power punches on the center line. I just got to use those against him and set up my angles. Marquez for the past couple of years has been back with his original team in Kansas City. James Krause in the corner, Glory MMA. Their connection so strong. Also has spent time out in Las Vegas a few years ago. Mm. Marquez has got to be very careful. That was a nice combination by Rodriguez. He missed, but he threw it the right way. Now, we spoke earlier about him not using the grappling, being a world champion, but when you can strike in the way that he has been able to, I don't see why you would. Big right from Rodriguez. And backs off three. Marquez. Nasty 2-3, and he hits hard, so you don't want to... Oh, he backed him up with that right cross. Marquez thought he was the much faster fighter. And Robocop showing some great speed early on these punches. He did. He thought his movement was going to create problems for Rodriguez. But right now, Rodriguez seems to be ahead of him. Rodriguez sets him down. Marquez trying to survive. This is where Rodriguez really comes alive as well. You'll see his ground game if he uses it. He hasn't used it too much. He generally likes to just punch. But if he breaks this man down, he's got a nasty top pressure. He's just beating him down right now. Rodriguez staying poised here. All those shots legal, and now he'll hop on the back. See, he commits heavily. Now you see the jujitsu experience start to show itself. Good job for Marquez to not get folded to the ground, because if you let Gregory sit on top of you in that first round, he'll take all the air out of your lungs. Marquez survived a nasty one right there. Oh, big uppercut. I mean, Marquez has a chin that cannot be questioned, but he's really been forced to test it here, but now swinging back big. Oh, they're going to have to have a 
real war right here to get Robocop off of him. He's going to have to just trade. He's going to have to get some respect. Because yep. right now, Rodriguez is just walking him down. Oh, my gosh. He throws everything in these punches. He knows he can hurt him, too. Oh. Oh. Again and sits him down as Marquez stumbles back. Rodriguez on the attack. Oh, my the middle. Wow, he was out for a moment. Mark is goodness. now trying to fight back to his feet. He took a knee and now he's taking some elbows. Still swinging back. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. He's unloading on her. Rodriguez just bowling. He's relentless. What a shot. Oh, and a head kick. Oh my goodness. How is Marquez still up? Marquez is up and still swinging somehow. What is happening? Robocop went off. And it's another knockout. Whoa. And now for a look at tonight's freaky fast finish. Brought to you by Jimmy John's. Here we are. Let's see what it looks like in slow motion. Nasty. One, two, comes down the middle, and then he follows up with these three, four. The left hook, right uppercut. Good follow-up with the knee, and then he just keeps him on the fence and starts bullying him. They start trading another right uppercut. Two, three, four, and then a bunch of elbows to follow that up. Another right uppercut. We see here that really what it comes down to is Robocop just sat in the pocket, landed more, hit him early, hurt him early, and kept the pressure, didn't slow down at all, took his time, landed the heavy shots, and then just kept socking him until he went down. Unbelievable performance. All right, good to see Julian Marquez back on his feet. He is upright on the stool, but the moment will belong to Gregory Rodriguez. We'll make it official. We'll hear from Robocop when we come back.